Now to the border crisis. President Donald Trump says migrant children won't be separated from their parents anymore. He signed an executive order today ending that part of the zero tolerance policy. He says no one has had the quote political courage to do so in recent years. I didn't like the sight or the feeling of families being separated. Uh, is a problem that's gone on for many years, as you know, through many administrations. From now on, parents and children caught crossing the border will be detained together. But the public outcry over the practice isn't subsiding. Critics are now focusing on how to right all of those wrongs. CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas has more on a rally and a local leader's trip to see if the situation can be helped. Gary, Indiana Mayor Karen Freeman Wilson met with me before she and the Council of U.S. Mayors fly to Texas tonight to get a closer look at the shelters in Tornillo where children are being detained without their parents. It's unthinkable that this could even happen in a modern day United States. She says she's encouraged by President Trump's executive order reversing the policy, but that signature doesn't erase the damage, the tremendous damage that have been done, that has been done to these children, to their families. As the Council of Mayors weighs in in Texas, ordinary residents are planning rallies and marches all over the country. It is the most horrendous thing I've ever seen in my lifetime. Carrie Harden says images like this kept her up at night. I had one night where I couldn't sleep and I, you know, in the early morning hours decided I'm just, I'm not going to wait for there to be an event. I'm just going to I'm just going to make a, an event. The March for Our Family, slated for Lincoln Square this Saturday morning at 9, has drawn nearly 4,000 RSVPs. I think the response has been amazing. Despite the president's reversal, she hopes her march and rally raise money to help the migrant families in crisis. Even if every single child made it back to their families today, there is still irreparable harm that needs to be addressed. Mayor Freeman Wilson hopes the nation's mayors can play a role. More importantly, we're willing to work so that nothing like this ever happens again. So Roseanne, tell us about this group that's going with Mayor Freeman Wilson. Right. Well, Rob, it's a delegation of 14 mayors. It is a bipartisan group and they're headed to El Paso tonight. They'll be hosted by the mayor of El Paso. And with that executive order signed, the focus now is really on how to reunite the families. We'll be interested to see what they see down there. How yeah. it plays out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, Roseanne.